Hi guys, so I've got my Voron uh, finally working, all the motors connected, uh, the bed heater, extruder, uh, Raspberry Pi working. Um, so I do a quick video because I know uh, sometimes the documentation isn't clear enough. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the AC mains. I've got the switch right here. Um, so you got the live is brown, neutral is uh, blue, all right? And then that's all connected. Uh, the yellow is ground wire that's connected to the main power supply, the 5 4 uh, power supply, and also to the heater bed somewhere, underneath the heater bed somewhere. Yeah, I've got it hooked here. Make sure you have a ground for the heater. Those are the three things you need. Uh, as for neutral, you got uh, from the power going to the main power supply, and also again, the 5 volt. Uh, no, sorry, the uh, yeah, 5 volt power supply. And then the other one is connected directly to uh, one of the wires from the heat bed. All right, so one of the wires is directly connected to neutral. The other one, all right, you'll see that it is connected uh, with the WAGO connector to, uh, it, it can be either one of these, it doesn't have to be because it's AC. Um, it's connected to one of the AC outputs not the DC, all right, DC is where it says uh, 5 to 24 volts. You want to put it on the other side. And then the other one, um, the other side actually connects to live uh, connection. So what the SSR does is uh, when, they, when it wants to turn on a heat bed, it sends a signal from heat one pin here, or you can also use the bed one heater here, all right? Um, so it sends a signal from clipper, it says turn it on, and it turns on the SSR, uh, it's solid switch, it's basically a switch, and it turns on, it basically connects these two wires, the live wires, and that's, um, and the neutral is already connected, now it's getting AC power. And then it just turns off um, and using PID tuning. So PID, basically, it turns in, it basically tries to smooth out uh, the AC power ons and off and keep, maintain the uh, temperature. Of course, there are ways to power the heat bed using DC only, um, but AC is probably more uh, faster, right? So that's how it is. Uh, and also make sure you have plus from the power supply. This is 24 volts. This is a 24 volt power supply. So the red is going to my Octopus Pi and the black is going to the Octopus Pi also. Now you can also route the second V plus directly to the motor inputs, or you can do it like this. This is what Voron team suggests. Um, so the Formbot kit that came with it, it had some really, really tiny wires I'll actually show you. They said to connect these, so I wasn't too sure those are AC. So I recommend doing 16 AWG. So I crimped those up. Um, so that's uh, motor power. Now, compared to Rat Rig, Rat Rig actually uses the bed in and the bed out feature of this board. Uh, whereas Boron, you can actually use that or you can use the heater out. So you have the two options, which can be kind of confusing. Um, now, these are uh, ZN stops. Sorry, th this is the X, X stop, Y stop, and the Z. I just connected the Z. And then this is the probe. Uh, they had something um, with uh, something about it, so I'm not sure. I'm, I'm gonna have to mess with that a little bit later. Uh, you got the fans, the two fans. All the switches come default at 24 volts, like that. Sorry, I had the board um, upside down. And you got the X, Y, which is basically B and A. They call it B and A. I don't know why, but this is basically X, Y, the top two motors. And this is gonna be Z0, front right, I think. Z1, uh, front, right, back, or it could be the opposite. Z, Z0, Z1, Z2, Z3, and then you got the extruder, all right? Uh, what else is there Do we cover? Um, also the solid straight relay, we cover that. Uh, the heater, heater from the heater zero is actually your hot end. It actually comes with like a switch, like that. It looks like, it says heat tube for the home form bot kit. So you just cut it off, all right, and put it on there. Um, some, so, so some stuff, little stuff like that, like if you didn't know how to, if this was your first 3D printer, you're like, 
and you didn't really have experience with le- electronics, like, what what are you might supposed to cut off, right? Um, I just used a couple of extra pieces to to um, tighten the wires, but I might print out some other stuff. Now the Formbot does ship with news motors. I'm having a little bit of trouble setting it up with the configs, uh, the current and stuff. There's nothing online. If if you have a pretty good config, let me know. Uh, the Formbot kit. This comes with the Meanwell. Now this is the kit I bought last year. Um, so the newer kit is R2, so it might actually have better stuff on it. But I'm actually impressed with the Formbot kit. It actually comes with pretty much 99% of the connectors that you need, all crimps, uh, very minimal crimping. It actually didn't come with the Z um, uh, end stop wire, so I had to crimp that up. I crimped that up. One, two, three crimps I think I did, or maybe one more. Yeah, I think I literally did three crimps. So for those of you you know who, who want a pretty complete kit, um, I highly recommend the form bot and uh, yeah that's, that's pretty much it so as far as the electronics um, just make sure you know it's you know where everything's um, going all right and I know I had to like really spend some time because I used to work with solid state relays all the time and I forgot how it worked but basically you have DC input that's activating the AC and the AC output is not like you put the neutral and the live, okay? That would be, uh, that, that would like burn up your 3D printer. You just, you can put the live or the neutral. It just separates that line and then only connects it when the SSR is live. That's the only thing you got to remember, really. All right, but uh, I, I guess it's better to do the live wires for the SSR. I'm not entirely um, sure, but... Works works really well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna set it up and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to actually enclose the printer eventually. But it's exciting day, yay.